Now, something to remember when you're working with uh, service mount uh, capacitors that are uh, non-polarized and of the uh, 1206 size, um, package size, um, is they are not well marked. Um, you can usually put two together under bright light and kind of tell um, if they're the same cap, but uh, if you mix them up, you're not going to be able to tell, so keep them separate when you're assembling them. So. And be very careful um, in your position. Double check all your positions. C11, right below that one. Okay, so the next step is going to be um, adding uh, our jumpers. Uh, JP1 JP2 JP3 Four and five. So what I'm going to use for now is a temporary because I didn't uh, didn't order the uh, zero ohm resistors to fit in there. Um, I'm just going to slip in some small wire. It has uh, insulation. Okay, JP1. Well, this is where our 12 volts comes in. This is our ground. Up here we have our... No, this is our 12 ground. This is our 12 positive. So this is our current sense input. We have a um, gate 1 for the output under the uh, MOSFET. And this is gate 2 for a secondary set of MOSFETs, if, if you choose to do that. Uh, currently it's not stuffed. R20 and um, C13 are not stuffed. Um, this is the uh, optional fan uh, power. And I think I'm going to stuff that in now. I'm going to try something different here. These, uh, these plugs come with a 90 degree angle. And the way I position this, I'm thinking I need to alter them. Um, I'm going to take these and pose them outward.
Okay, so I flipped them back in. And I think that'll work just fine. Let's trim off some of the excess. Perfect. And solder it on. Okay, so we'll have a positive voltage and a wire coming off there, negative going off the ground, this negative going directly, this, this negative going directly to the uh, R12 ground, um, and this one will go directly to the top of that resistor R12. So there you have it, the completed H202 PWM version 2.0.1. This is H2O2 from H2O, signing out.